a uh, simulation to show how the new EKF check uh, can hopefully help reduce uh, flyaways caused by bad compass values. So in this test uh, we've got a uh, copter here, um, simulated copter, and we have uh, set one of its um, compass offsets to be very large. So in fact the vehicle is actually facing almost due west, but you can see because the offset is uh, really bad it's uh, sort of northwest. So uh, this is with the uh, EKF check off, so it's the same as um, you know RG Copter 315. And I will first arm the vehicle, then I'll take off in stabilized mode. We'll climb up to about 20 meters. You can see the altitude here, and then we'll switch into loiter mode. And then you'll see the vehicle starts to spin. Uh, sorry, circle toilet bowl as we say. So it'll do that for a little bit, and actually it'll keep on doing it, of course, because there's no EKF check. It'll fly off in massive circles. And this is what we see it do in real life as well. It just doesn't know um, how to correct for the position error properly, because uh, the compass is bad, so it, it ends up circling around. If the compass is really bad, it'll just fly off in completely the wrong direction. Okay, so the next part of the test is to enable the EKF check. So here I've set this parameter EKF check compass to its default value, which is 0.6. Uh, then I'll arm and take off in stabilized mode again. Uh, we'll let it go up to 20 meters and then we'll switch into loiter mode. Bang, there we go. So you can see it still starts to circle. Bang but then the uh, EKF compass variance uh, kicks in, it sees that there's something going wrong and it uh, switches into land mode. And this is land mode without a GPS, so it's just going to be, uh, you know, the, the roll and pitch will be under the pilot's control. Um, you know, if, the, if there's no input, it'll come down uh, just, you know, somewhat straight. Uh, one last thing is that uh, this is called the EKF check, but um, on uh, Pixhawk, it'll use the EKF if the um, HRS EKF use set, uh, sorry, parameter is set to one. Um, on an APM2 or a Pixar where you're not using the EKF, uh, it'll actually use the uh, inertial navigations acceleration corrections.